Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. The 62 days are going to the GCSE Maths exam. Today we're going to focus on the topic of factorizing quadratics and solving quadratic equations using factorization. So in this video, I'm going to go through some questions and then I'm going to give you some to try yourself. So feel free to pause the video at various times to try the questions and see if you can do it as well. Okay, so let's get started. So here's our first question. It says to factorize x squared plus 7x plus 12. So it's very important we can factorize quadratics. And if you think back to our expand in two brackets video, we looked at expand in two brackets. And whenever you expand two brackets, you get things in this form, this quadratic form. So to, whenever you've been asked to factorize a quadratic, you want to put it back into brackets. So we want to find what two brackets, whenever we expand them, give us x squared plus 7x plus 12. Now, because the x squared is going to be an x and an x at the front of both brackets, because x times x is x squared. So that's fantastic. Now, in terms of finding what goes in the brackets along with the x, because this is just an x squared quadratic, it's quite straightforward. We want to find two numbers which we multiply together to give us the 12, because whenever we expand our brackets, the last thing we'll do is this number times this number, and that will give us 12. But also, because it's just an x squared quadratic, this number plus this number will equal 7. So the two numbers in the brackets here and here will multiply together to give us 12, and they'll add together to give us 7. And that works whenever we've got quadratics where it's just 1x squared. So here we want to find two numbers that multiply together to give us 12, and they'll add together to give us 7. And I'm thinking 4 and 3, because 4 times 3 is 12, and 4 plus 3 is 7. So in our brackets, we'll have x plus 3 and x plus 4. Now, you could have written it the other way around and written x plus 4 and x plus 3, but it doesn't actually matter which way around you have these two brackets. So we were asked to factorize x squared plus 7x plus 12. The answer would be x plus 3, x plus 4. And you can check that. If you expand these brackets, you'd get x squared plus 4x plus 3x plus 12, and the 4x and the 3x will add together to give us the 7x, so that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says to factorize x squared plus 3x minus 4. Now feel free to pause the video and give this one a shot now if you want to. Okay, so if we've been asked to factorize this quadratic, we're going to have our two brackets, and then because it's x squared, we're going to have x and x at the front of the brackets. Now we want to find two numbers which will multiply together to give us negative 4, and they'll add together to give us 3. I'm thinking negative 1 and 4. Because negative 1 times 4 would be negative 4, and negative 1 plus 4 would be 3. So that means in our brackets we'd have x minus 1 and x plus 4, and that's it. So if we've been asked to factorize x squared plus 3x minus 4, it'd be x minus 1, x plus 4, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Okay, so we've been asked to factorize this quadratic, so let's put our brackets down. Because it's just x squared, it's going to be x and x at the front of the brackets. Now, in terms of the two numbers, they'll multiply together to give us negative 55, and they're going to add together to give us negative 6. So we want to find two numbers that will multiply together to give us negative 55 and add together to be negative 6. So I'm thinking negative 11 and 5, because negative 11 times 5 would be negative 55, and negative 11 plus 5, going back up 5, would be negative 6. So it's going to be x minus 11 and x plus 5, and that's it. And you could have written x plus 5 and x minus 11, but it doesn't actually matter which way around the brackets go, and that's it. So in the brackets would be x minus 11 and x plus 5. Okay, let's have a look at our next one. Okay, this time we've been asked to factorize x squared minus 13x plus 22. So again, feel free to pause the video now and factorize this quadratic. Okay, so we're going to put our brackets down. So bracket, 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 bracket. Because it's x squared, we're going to have x and x. Now we want two numbers that will multiply together to give us 22, and they'll add together to give us negative 13. Now because they multiply together to be a positive, and add together to be a negative, well, think of things that multiply together to be positives. It could be a positive times a positive, but when you add them, you would get a positive, or a negative times a negative, which if you add those, would give you a negative. So the two things in the brackets will have to be negative. And I'm thinking negative 11 and negative 2, because negative 11 times negative 2, well, 11 times 2 is 22, so negative 11 times negative 2, and negative times negative is a positive, that'll be 22. And negative 11 plus negative 2 means it go back down to, so it'd be negative 13. So that means in our brackets, we'd have x minus 11 and x minus 2, and that would be that factorized, and that's it. Okay, just before we move on to looking at how to solve quadratics by using factorization, I want to look at a special type of factorization called the difference between two squareds. So if you get something squared, subtract something squared, you can factorize it by doing bracket, 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 bracket. You can square root both of the terms, so that'll be x and 7, x and 7, and you can put a plus sign and a minus sign. And that's that factorized. And you can check it, x times x is x squared, 
x times minus 7 would be minus 7x. Seven, 7 times x is plus 7x. And 7 times minus 7 would be minus 49. Minus 7x plus 7x is 0, so it'll be x squared. And then that's 0, they cancel out. And then we'll just be left with minus 49. So as you can see, if we expand these brackets, we get x squared minus 49. And that's great, because if we had something like this, you could factorize it really simply by just square rooting them both and put one bracket with a plus sign and one bracket with a minus sign. So it's called the difference between two squares. Okay, let's have a look at one for you to try yourself now. So here's the difference between two squared factorization question. So can you factorize y squared minus 64? Okay, so if you wanted to factorize this, because you've got y squared and 64, which is a squared number, you could do bracket, 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 bracket. You can then put y in the front of both brackets, then 8 and 8, and 1 with a plus sign and 1 with a minus sign, or it could be a minus sign and a plus sign. So if you were asked to factorize y squared minus 64, you'd have y plus 8 and y minus 8. And if you expand those brackets, you'd get back to what you started with. So that's it. Okay, so we've looked at factorizing quadratics. We're now going to look at how we can use that to solve quadratics. So here we've got solve x squared plus 11x plus 28 equals 0. So if you wanted to solve a quadratic equation like this, so this is a quadratic equation where we've got a quadratic and it's an equation. If you want to solve a quadratic equation like this, first thing you want to do is make it equal to 0. So that's fantastic. And then what you want to do is you want to factorize it. So pause the video now and factorize this left-hand side. Okay, so if you factorize this left-hand side, you should have got bracket, 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 bracket. And then we've got x squared plus 11x plus 28. So because it's x squared, that's nice. We've got x and x. And we want to find two numbers that will multiply together to be 28. And they'll add together to be 11. And I'm thinking 4 and 7. So plus 4 and plus 7. So we've got x plus 4 multiplied by x plus 7 equals 0. Fantastic. So we've done our first step in solving this quadratic equation by using factorization. Now, here we've got something multiplied by something equals 0. Now, if I was to ask you to tell me two numbers that multiply together to give me 0, well, go ahead, think of two numbers that multiply together to be 0. Okay, so you might have chosen 8 multiplied by 0. <laughs> if you actually chose those numbers, that, that's class. Um, but you could have chosen 9 multiplied by 0, 15 multiplied by 0, 0 0.5 multiplied by 0, 0 times 0. But one of them has to be 0. If those two numbers are multiplied together to be 0, one of them, or both of them, are equal to 0. So whenever you're solving a quadratic equation like this one, we're going to actually get two different answers. Here, for this bracket, we want to find what makes this bracket 0. And here, if we've got x plus 4 equals 0, if x is equal to minus 4, you get minus 4, plus 4 is equal to 0. So if you have x plus 4, our answer would be x equals minus 4, because minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. So we think, what makes this bracket 0? Minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. So that's one of our two answers, x equals minus 4. So we've got one possible answer, that x is equal to negative 4. Okay, now let's have a look at the other bracket. If we want to make this bracket equal to 0, let's think what value of x would make this bracket equal to 0. Well, negative 7 plus 7 is equal to 0. So if x is equal to negative 7. And there are two answers, that either x equals negative 4 or x equals negative 7. And that's it. So if we were asked to solve this equation, x squared plus 11x plus 28 equals 0, because it equals 0, that's great. We can then just try to factorize the left-hand side. And if it factorizes, fantastic. Because then we can just make each bracket equal to 0. Think what value of x makes each bracket equal to 0. And that is x equals negative 4 or x equals negative 7. And there are two solutions. OK. OK, now here's one for you to try yourself. So feel free to pause the video and to solve this equation. So if I wanted to solve this equation, because it equals 0, that's great. I can just then try to factorize the left-hand side. And if it factorizes, fantastic, that's equal to 0. So factorizing this, we've got x squared minus 6x minus 27. So we will want to have then in the front of both brackets, x and x. We then want to find two numbers that multiply together to be negative 27, and then add together to be negative 6. So I'm thinking negative 9 and 3, because negative 9 times 3 would be equal to negative 27, and negative 9 plus 3 would be equal to negative 6. Fantastic. So we've factorized it. Now we want to see what the values of x would be to make each bracket equal to 0. So here, x is equal to 9. And here, x is equal to negative 3. And there will be our two solutions, so either x equals 9 or x equals negative 3. And let's just check it. 9 squared is 81. Subtract 6, lots of 9. So subtract 54 is equal to 27. Take away 27 is equal to 0. And if we had negative 3, negative 3 squared is 9. Subtract 6, lots of negative 3. Well, that's going to be subtract minus 18. And 9 subtract minus 18 would be equal to 27. Take away 27 is equal to 0. So there are two solutions. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So feel free to pause the video and solve this quadratic equation. 
Okay, so if I wanted to solve this quadratic equation, I would then, because it equals zero, that's great, I then try and factorize the left-hand side. So let's see if we can put that into brackets. That's equal to zero. It's x squared, so let's go for x and x. We want two numbers that are multiplied together to be 32 and add together to be negative 12. Now, because they multiply together to be a positive and add together to be a negative, they're both going to be negative. And things that multiply together to be 32, I'm thinking negative 4 and negative 8. Negative 4 times negative 8 would be 32. And negative 4 plus negative 8 would be equal to negative 12. Now we just need to see what values of x would make each bracket 0. So this bracket, 4 take away 4 is 0, so x equals 4. And then our second bracket, well, a number take away 8 equals 0. Well, I'm thinking 8, so that means that x equals 8. So our two solutions are x equals 4 or x equals 8. Or you could write x equals 4 and x equals 8, depending on what you prefer. Okay, and that's it. There are two solutions. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to factorize quadratics. And we've also looked at how to solve quadratic equations using factorization. And so I hope you found this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now in terms of quadratic factorization, I highly recommend that you try the practice questions and I'll put a link in the description below. Because one of those topics that the more practice you have, the easier you'll find it. And that's why I recommend to anyone doing GCSE Foundation Maths that you try these practice questions in the description below and they'll be really useful for you to, to build your confidence with factorizing quadratics. So I really hope you found this video useful. Tomorrow there'll be 61 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam. So three o'clock tomorrow on YouTube, the video will be going on there. And again, if you know anyone that might find these videos useful, perhaps a friend or a relative or even a teacher, please recommend these videos to them because they might find them useful and also might get a few extra views from me as well. So thank you so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.